Well, welcome everyone. So glad you are here. It is the first very warm day of spring here in New Jersey, which means that it went from 60 something degrees yesterday to over 85 degrees today. Always fun. And then tomorrow. And then tomorrow's back down to 60, right? That's New Jersey. That's New Jersey. So um, we are serving dinner at St. Peter's. If you want to swing down and, and grab that, that's every Wednesday night from 530 to 630 and curbside pickup curbside pickup so all right here we go so question for the day so you were just uh describing a, a meal you guys are cooking what's your uh, of all the things you grill on the grill what's your favorite well kirk grills on the grill but that, that's his area and my favorite is a steak a good steak off the grill. Yeah. Particular particular cut or uh London broil. Uh I'm gonna surprise you because my favorite thing off the grill is our grilled apricots mm. with creme fraiche and mint. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite thing off the grill. And I love many things off the grill, but that's my absolute favorite. Yeah. And usually because that comes at the end. So folks on, on Facebook Live, if you're watching, please, uh, for all of you, like and subscribe, sign up for notifications. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Um, we had a very large fire in our vicinity. So you may hear on my microphone, um, some uh, loudspeakers, some sirens and things and, and people moving around outside. It's, uh, we were right next to the volunteer fire department. I'm the chaplain for the fire department. And so um, we are praying for the family that was affected by the fire. We don't know who that is yet, but we'll find out and uh, hold that up in prayer. Uh, but we give thanks that it seems that no one was injured in fighting the fire. And we give thanks for all of our first responders. And there were many this afternoon. Um, so we pray for them as well. Amen. All right, here we go. Time for our service. We're still in the Sermon on the Plain. And I just threw the Sermon on the Mount up there just because I was looking for some variety. There are very few Sermon on the Plains classic paintings that are in the public domain. So we'll just go with what we get. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, darkness is not dark to you, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalms this evening are 49 and 53. I'll offer the odd, you guys will respond with the even. Hear this, all you peoples, give ear all inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak wisdom, the meditation of my heart shall be understanding. I will incline my ear to a proverb, I will solve my riddle to the music of the harp. Why should I fear in times of trouble? 
when the iniquity of my persecutor surrounds me. Those who trust in their wealth and boast of the abundance of their riches. Truly, no ransom avails for one's life. There is no price one can give to God for it. For the ransom of life is costly and can never suffice. That one should live on forever and never see the grave. When we look at the wise, they die. Fool and dolt perish together and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling places to all generations, though they named lands their own. Mortals cannot abide in their pomp. They are like the animals that perish. Such is the fate of the foolhardy, the end of those who are pleased with their lot. Like sheep, they are appointed for Sheol. Death shall be their shepherd. Straight to the grave they descend. And their form shall waste away. Sheol shall be their home. But God will ransom my soul from the power of Sheol, for he will receive me. Do not be afraid when some become rich, when the wealth of their houses increases. For when they die, they will carry nothing away. Their wealth will not go down after them. Though in their lifetime they count themselves happy, for you are praised when you do well for yourself. They will go to the company of their ancestors, who will never again see the light. Mortals cannot abide in their pomp. They are like the animals that perish. Fools say in their hearts there is no God. They are corrupt. They commit abominable acts. There is no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on humankind to see if there are any who are wise, who seek after God. They have all fallen away. They are all alike perverse. There is no one who, do, who does good. No, not one. Have they no knowledge, those evildoers, who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call upon God? There they shall be in great terror, in terror such as has not been. For God will scatter the bones of the ungodly. They will be put to shame, for God has rejected them. Oh, <clears throat> oh that deliverance for evil would come from Zion. When God restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice. Israel will be glad. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's first letter to the church in Thessalonica. You yourselves know, brothers and sisters, that our coming to you was not in vain. But though we had already suffered and been shamefully mistreated at Philippi, as you know, we had courage in our God to declare to you the gospel of God in spite of great opposition. For our appeal does not spring from deceit or impure motives or trickery. But just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel, even so we speak, not to please mortals, but to please God, who tests our heart. As you know, and as God is our witness, we never came with words of flattery or with a pretext for greed, nor did we seek praise from mortals, whether from you or from others, though we might have made demands as apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you, like a nurse tenderly caring for her own children. So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. You remember our labor and toil, brothers and sisters. We worked night and day so that we might not burden any of you while we proclaim to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and God also, how pure, upright, and blameless our conduct was toward you believers. As you know, we dealt with each one of you like a father with his children, urging and encouraging you, and pleading that you lead a life worthy of God, who calls you into his own kingdom and glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this evening, a song of Judith. Together, I will sing a new song to my God, 
for you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came into being. You sent your breath and it formed them. No one is able to resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who fear you, you continue to show mercy. No sacrifice, however fragrant, can please you. But whoever fears the Lord shall stand in your sight forever. Sorry, a reading from Luke. But I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, praise for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies, do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. Your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, a song of Christ's humanity. Together, though in the form of God, Christ Jesus did not cling to equality with God, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. 
Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, whose Son, Jesus, is the good shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know whom, him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your son, our savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love. Then in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. We pray for the local families and households affected by the fire here in our area today and pray and give thanks for the responding fire and emergency services companies and people who were able to render assistance. We pray that no one was hurt or harmed in this crisis. We pray for the repose of the soul of Mike Kransky. We pray for consolation for his wife, Tracy, and his daughter, Sarah. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you so much, folks. We're glad you were with us tonight. Um, please do join us tomorrow for morning prayer at 9 a.m. And of course, tomorrow, Thursday, we have a rector's vlog posting as well as evening prayer at 5 p.m. to close out the worship week. And God willing, Creek Don't Rise, literally, because there's a creek out back of the church. Um, we're hoping to have live in person as well as live broadcast worship on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. for the fifth Sunday of Easter. For now, have a great evening. Uh, please do like and subscribe. Hit the bell button for notifications and let us know how we can pray for you. We appreciate the opportunity. And we always welcome you home to St. Peter's. If you are hungry tonight and you're in the vicinity, drop by St. Peter's at 505 Main Street in Spotswood. And we have uh, curbside delivery of our community supper. You can come and get a hot meal for yourself or for a neighbor. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.